Como siempre, Manuel Calderón a través de 911 Punto Informativo, trayéndole lo último en noticias. Me encuentro ahora mismo con Bill. Eh, vamos a ver realmente qué tanto se encuentra la localidad donde van a hacer eh, la transferencia eh, de basura hasta el hospital. Vamos a hacerle algunas preguntas primero a Bill y después vamos a subir el dron para ver en realidad de qué punto a qué punto se encuentra. Hi, Bill Rinaldi. How you doing? Good afternoon, sir. We have some questions for you. Sure, I'd be happy to answer them. Okay, the first question that we have, how far it is from the transfer station to the hospital? Well, by by traveling by road, I would estimate between three and six miles. Uh, by, the f by the way the crow flies directly, I'd say about a half a mile. And then you say that you're going to make the road? Yes, I'm putting a road in, sir, to uh, go along the railroad and then exit Broad Street. How many trucks? How many truck do you gonna use for being in Hazelton and looking for the trash? Well, the trucks in Hazelton will be considerably about less because they will be make, be able to make multiple trips with one truck versus one trip a day to the landfill, two hours, two hours, four hours, and uh, an hour to get dumped. That's about probably half your, more than half your day. So that's why we'll be able to use less trucks and reduce the rate by doing that. Well, now you'll be able to have a competitive bid with multiple bidders. Okay, Rinaldi, I wanna that you show the people how it's far from the Hazen Town to Hazen Town Township. Let's go over there because I wanna show the land. When is in your land? You can go. Okay, your land is ending over there. Where the flags are. Okay, oh, with the flag. Mm -hmm. Okay, I saw the flag over there. The it's flag? going, yeah, it's going over there. Yeah. And then I want to explain to the people. Uh, after those telephone poles, mm -hmm. after those telephone poles is Hazel Township. Okay. So you can see the proximity between Hazelton and Hazel Township. Okay. The telephone pole represents almost the line. Because I wanted to see Hazelton because 26% of the city is mine scarred lands and that's tax revenue that the city of Hazelton doesn't get. By doing it in Hazelton we'll be able to give the people of Hazelton tax revenue. Uh, now I want to uh, show me for where you're going to make the road to Hazelton. No? Uh, right along the rail. In? All along the railroad track up into everything behind uh, running along parallel with Stockton Road and exiting on Broad Street. And then it's gonna be like one mile and a half? About a mile and a half, two miles. Yes, if we could look straight, the road will follow the train rail, rail cars all the way down around and then come up through Cooper Electric. Um, I think it's a very viable project and it'll save the taxpayers dollars in their in their waste removal. I know it's been going up three times in the past couple of years. Also bring tax revenue to Hazleton. And then they have been afraid that you have a the smell and everything is gonna contaminate in Hazeltown. Rat everything is going to Hazeltown. Uh, what do you think about the smell with all the street? Uh, we will have no smell on the street. Uh, DEP regulates that, number one. Number two, we operate other facilities, and I welcome anyone to come to see them to see what we do. And what do they say until now? We have no problems whatsoever. And then, with who do you have a problem for putting the, uh, the, the transfer in here? Well, I think that uh, there's some people in Hazleton that are, do not like change. And also, you know, their truck traffic is concerning to them. Uh, I know certain people are worried about other projects in the city of Hazleton. But Hazleton, like I said, has 26% of their properties are mine scarred. And it's revenue that we don't get any tax dollars from. Thank you, Rinaldi, for having me here. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your time. Bueno, mi gente, ya lo escucharon. Eh, vamos a ver qué nos dice el dron. And thank you everybody for watching this video. And now we're gonna use the dron and see how many miles is exactly from here to the hospital. Let's see.